this is where we're at right now. Shit everywhere. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to make this video because it means I go to America next week. <gasps> Yay! So it is officially the week before I go to America. Today is Tuesday, but when you're watching this, it'll be Sunday. Um, but I head to America next Tuesday. So when you're watching this in two days, I will be on the plane to New York and oh my god I'm so excited the weather is shit right now like today especially it is pouring it's windy it's cold like not for me oh I just looked at myself um I haven't had a shower because I have like too much to do today um I need to like organize all my stuff for America and like you know just get stuff done so no time for a shower after the gym no time to look presentable I'm sure you guys don't mind you've seen me look like shit all the time so yeah, I'm going to finish packing everything. Um, I'm obviously not going to pack my like carry-on bag because I need to put, like I'm still going to use the stuff that I'll put in there. So I'll just show you what I am going to put in there, um, but not actually put it in there. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Yeah, when I finish packing, I'll show you guys like everything I bring and just share with you some I guess like health tips um, on the things that I pack and why like for example like supplements I'll explain like why I bring them and different foods and supplements and things like that so yeah I'll just kind of go through and show you every single thing that I'm gonna pack and also share some health tips while I'm at it but I will make a whole other separate video talking about my tips for staying healthy um, while traveling and just little hacks that you can implement onto your holiday just to keep you feeling good um, and so you don't return like as if you're starting from scratch and you've just blown out and eat a bunch of crap um, you want to stay kind of balanced okay so it's like an hour later and I've pretty much finished um, all I have to do is add in the stuff like the night before like my skincare my supplements and things that I'm using now but other than that I'm pretty much done I hope I feel like I don't have everything like packing is really stressful for me because I'm like a control freak and I'm like OCD so I'm like panicking I don't have everything I still need to go to Kmart and buy some like travel containers and things like that but yeah for the most part it is pretty good so I think I'm gonna take you through my main suitcase first and just like show you guys what I've got um, and then I've got my like carry-on bag stuff ready but I need to buy a sort of makeup bag to hold everything in so it's just like all over my desk okay so in the main compartment don't mind the bra um, this is all a bunch of boring stuff clothes whatnot I feel like I have too much we didn't want to overpack because we're gonna buy heaps of stuff there but I don't know if this is overpacking or not but yeah there we go that's all the clothes and swimmers all of the things then in here this isn't organized all yet um, we do have some shoes so I've got both my Birkenstocks sandals my slides thongs um, and we've got the goods so in here is makeup I'm gonna like open it and just show you guys what I've got I got this bag from my work actually um, it's like I don't know how to explain it, but you open it up like this. Sorry, there's just shoes there. You undo it, and then all your makeup, like, comes out. So it's like, I don't know, like a sack. <laughs> so, fun fact, I used to be obsessed with makeup, so I've got, like, a lot in here. Let me flip you around and we'll show you what I got. So, I brought, I'll show you these palettes. I got them from... Uh, Priceline. I said my work. I work at Priceline. Let's pop it up here. I love these because... Oh, I can't open it. There we go. So I love these because you've got like everything in one. You can use the contour, the blush, and the highlight, and then you've got the shadows. Um, so it's really good for travel, and that's like all I'm bringing for eyeshadow-wise because I could do a warm look or like sort of pinky look, and then you've got the contours and stuff like that. So I really like those. It's got a mirror too, which is handy. Um, and then, yeah, just a bunch of lipsticks. I've got my foundation. I absolutely love this one. Um, it's a Makeup Forever um, mini setting spray. I love these little mini lipsticks. I just brought all of my minis so that I can have, like, different options. Um, 
this is the Anika Organics. So this is something that I use like more every day because it's all natural, doesn't break me out. So I'm bringing this just for like during the day if I want to put something on. Same as, where is it? This one here. So it's a tinted CC cream and I like that it's got um, some sun protection in there. I think it's, yeah, SPF 15. So this is good for during the day. Pretty light coverage, so I like to use both of these, both all natural. Um, and then that's a really nice base. And then you can just put some mascara and some eyebrow gel just for a quick everyday look. I do need to buy an eyebrow pencil when I'm over there because look at the state of this. I lost the lid. Let me focus you on this. It is a bit disturbing. So then coming in here, this is kind of a random bag of things. Uh, I'm actually going to put you up here and just like show you what I got um, in the bag. So we've got this one here. It's like a little haul. Ooh. So I tried to like organize. Oh my God, that back is really gross. Let me go fix that one second. Oh, okay. That looks a bit better. So I tried to have like a method with my like individual bags I'm like obsessed with these sort of makeup bags because it just makes everything more organized instead of having shit just like Thrown everywhere. So this is kind of like my sun care perfume. I don't know. So we've got my Bondi Sands Oil it's got SPF 15 I think um, So I use this like a tanning oil. I know it's not the best um, But yeah, <laughs> I have no excuse. I just like being tan. But I do not use this on my face. I make sure for my face to always use like sunscreen or keep it out of the sun because I don't want wrinkles or anything like that. So going on with sunscreen, um, I've got a SPF 15 body lotion, um, the Latan one. And I've got this moisturizer. It's from Bath and Body Works. I like it because it's small. So I'll just use that for my body cream. Some shampoo and conditioner. This is the OGX travel ones. I had this from Singapore, but I haven't used it all. I'll definitely need to buy more though because we're there for like four weeks. But yeah, I got that. Brought just these perfumes there. The Victoria's Secret um, like body mists type things. And they're really good because they're small as well. Um, and then you can like mix and match with both. Um, same as these two um, roll-on perfumes. I actually got this one from Zara. It smells amazing. Um, and then I got this one from my work. Um, I've got my little sleep aromatherapy oil. Um, I'm also going to bring my lavender spray. Oh my god, my freaking hair. Like, that's just like too much. Whatever. And I've got... <laughs> tape um for my foot i haven't actually told you guys so i hurt my other ankle um i, I heard it like a couple years ago it was must have been like a fracture i never let it heal so now i get like reoccurring ankle pain um so it came back like last week and you know went away and then like two days ago the other foot it started getting sore i'll actually show you because i have put some tape on it i don't know if you can see but I put some kinesiology tape. I just Googled like what, um, like where my pain was and how I could tape it. So I've taped it and I'm hoping that it gets better because I can barely walk. Like I'm walking on the side of my foot. Um, I have no idea what I did to it. I'm thinking it's because I was putting so much weight on that foot when I had my sore ankle. And now that the ankle's better, the foot's like been overused. I don't know, but I'm hoping because we're going to be walking so much in America. And if I have like, an injury it'll be really bad so i'm just gonna bring the bandage and i'm also gonna bring the tape but i've got it out because i'm gonna keep using it also have a little ogx um oil for the ends of your hair just because this is like a good little travel set and yeah that's it for this uh random little bag i guess this is like my sun care body sort of so I'm um, just going to quickly show you guys now. All I have in here is just some jewelry like my necklace and rings and some earrings. I'm really scared this necklace is going to get so tangled, but I don't know what else to do with it. Oh my god, look at it already. <gasps> oh my god, my kitten literally just walked into my room. Oh my god, how did it get out? The door is shut. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so confusing. Anyway, I left their door open too much and he just decided to wander out. So I brought them both in for a little play. Um, they can run around my room and have fun. You already met them in last video, but there's my little babies. They're doing so well. 
Okay, so if you see them in the back, just like ignore that. Let me move back a bit. So I'm going to show you what's in the last bag that we've got in there. This is like my sort of food bag. I brought a dandelion root tea. This is good for water retention. So if you're bloated, um, it helps get you to pee so you get rid of the water. Um, and then I brought a detox tea. It's not actually like a detox tea. It's just herbs and whatnot. And then a lemon balm because that's good if I have a headache. And then I brought one of these Keep It Cleaner gluten-free porridge sachets just in case like we have a hotel room breakfast or something. Um, I brought some psyllium husk. Um, this is good if you're constipated. Just putting it out there. Same as these chia seeds. So they're good to put into water or something like that. Um, if you need some more fiber, because that's why you usually get constipated when you're away, is because you're not getting enough fiber, you're eating lots of foods. Oh my god, the kitten's climbing up me. And then I brought a New Zest um, coffee, coconut, and MCT's protein powder sachet. Again, if we have like a hotel room breakfast, I can like mix these two or for like the plane on the way home. Who knows or one of the planes like in the middle of the trip or whatever um, and then i've got two peanut butter packs they're good for like snacks and things like that i also brought a googie's protein bar so this is made with just like dates and egg whites so it's like got good protein another bar so this is the sneaky whole foods turmeric bar so this is a good snack as well and a big bag of dried prunes again if you're constipated, make sure for dried fruit as well that you're getting organic and there's no sulfites in it. So I've got that just in case, you know, getting a bit constipated. Prunes are like a go-to, really good source of fiber as well. Okay, so what I'm going to bring supplement-wise, I have the Lifespan Probiotics. So I normally use refrigerated ones, but obviously when you're traveling, it's just not an option. So I've got these ones for travel because they don't need to be refrigerated. Oh, I'm just going to reach and get my whole supplement drawer um, and show you the rest of what I'm going to bring. I'm going to take my Mega Magnesium. So I take one a day of these. It helps with muscle recovery, sleep, digestion. Like, oh, I love magnesium. So um, I've got the tablets. I don't really have much left, which is fine because I can buy some over there. Um, and then I'm also going to bring the Bioceuticals Armor Force. I talked about this in my um, like cold tips video. So I'm just going to bring like a couple of these. I'm not going to bring the whole container just to prevent getting like sick or anything. Um, I'm definitely going to take some on the plane and I've been taking it leading up to leaving because it is really cold in Sydney. I usually take one a day during winter just to prevent any colds. Lastly, I'm just going to take my Zinc Sustain. So I take one a day of these. It really helps with your skin. It's like pretty much all I'm going to take. I think I might take a couple of charcoal tablets. Um, it's good to just like flush things out if you need it. But yeah, that's that's it for supplement wise. Oh, actually, I forgot. I'm also going to take my powdered magnesium, which I showed you in my nighttime routine video, I think. Um, I take a scoop before bed, so I'm just going to bring the whole tub, but that's in my kitchen. Um, I'll put that in like the night before with the rest of these supplements. Okay, so I think I'm going to flip you around and just show you guys what snacks I'm taking for the plane. So I did a whole Instagram story. Um, which I'll put into my highlights about like airplane food and I like showed you what I'm gonna bring But I'll show you again and explain um, The airplane situation. So I haven't been on like a long-haul flight um, Since I was like 12. I obviously didn't eat healthy back then. I just ate the plain food um, The last like flight I went on was Gold Coast, which is like obviously an hour not a big deal. Um, Singapore as well I went last year, but we stopped over on the way in Perth. So it was only five hours and then like another five hours so i just had like snacks not a big deal but oh my god that was my phone by the way just like gonna ignore that but this flight obviously to new york it's like i don't even know how long like a long last time we go for like 12 or something hours then we get off for an hour and come back on which, I mean, doesn't make a difference. It's a long-ass flight, and I'm not planning on eating the plain food. Um, so I'm, like, coming prepared with snacks and things like that. I probably won't eat it all because, again, you have to remember you're just sitting there and, like, not moving the whole time. But I do want to make sure I get, like, quite a lot of fiber just to help everything move. Because, um, you know, you're sitting down for a long time. You want to make sure your digestion is, like, okay. So we did order me like gluten-free meals. Um, I'm hoping they'll bring me like a piece of fruit or something like that. Um, but otherwise, like my dad will just eat them because the meals are free. So we just got them anyway. And then I've got my snacks 
for the plane. Just got some beef bone broth bites. I've got some more of the teas that I had. Hopefully they'll give me some hot water. Um, I've got a Go Macro bar, which is like a protein bar. I've got this pack of peanut butter and cacao like balls. Hello kitty. I've got the banana and peanut butter like snack bite type thing. So you dip the banana chips into the peanut butter. Um, I've got some edamame, good way to get some protein and some vegetables in. I've got some raw activated nuts and some organic dried apricots. I've got a little tub of peanut butter, which hopefully I could dip some like fruit in or just eat it plain. I've got the Avo hemp bar. Um, I've got a protein bar. So this has 25 grams of protein um, and the ingredients are amazing. So it's a good way to get protein in. And I've got a little carob chocolate because chocolate and some beef jerky just for something savory. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna bring on the plane for snacks. Obviously, I'm probably not gonna eat it all, but it's good to be over-prepared, I guess. That's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love seeing what people pack when they're going away. It just gives me like ideas, and I'm like, oh shit, I should bring that, oh, I gotta bring that. But yeah, I'm really excited, and yeah, this is my last video before holidays. I'm taking like a four-week break um, while I'm overseas from um, like editing and uploading, but I will be vlogging my whole America trip, so you'll have those vlogs to look forward to. They'll definitely be like two or three because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of footage. And I'll also upload like a healthy travel hacks video um, so you can see like what I did to stay healthy while traveling. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that and give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in four weeks. But definitely um, keep up to date on my Instagram. I'll be storing like up all the freaking time. Um, my Instagram is nat.sayer. Link down below. Bye.